Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. Well, a couple of years ago I did a little video on where you can buy a radio. And I did that for the uh, relatively new ham radio operators. Because <clears throat> I was getting a lot of questions about that at our radio club meetings. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, when I did it at, at that time, uh, the resolution didn't come out quite right. So, But I left it up because of the information there. Uh, today I wanted to do one where maybe you get a little bit better uh, screen resolution. And uh, if you're new to ham radio uh, and you don't know where to buy a radio from other than Amazon, they do sell radios on Amazon, uh, and you don't have any dealers in your area, maybe this will help you a little bit. So let me uh, switch back over to the screen, and we'll pop up a little browser, and I've already got some tabs lined up. So get your pencils out. <clears throat> For used equipment, used equipment, one of the sites I use is uh, qrz.com. And you can come here, and I would encourage you to register and do all that, and uh, <clears throat> then you'll be able to make use of the entire site. But they do have what's called a swap meet hot list right here. And if we click it, you're going to get the latest uh, equipment, used equipment, that's for sale. Now, there's no rhyme or reason to how this is organized. It just, they just show up one after the other uh, based on uh, when they were posted. So you can uh, kind of keep checking back here, see if something pops up that you might be interested in. Uh, <clears throat> Pretty, uh, pretty safe site. Uh, if someone is trying to scam, it will be out in the forums up here uh, pretty quick. And that person will be kicked off. So it's a fairly safe site to uh, buy equipment on. Now the other, next one I want to point out for used equipment is a site called QTH.com. And I'm on the classifieds page. Let me take you to the regular QTH home page. This is where you're going to wind up if you Google it. You're going to wind up right here. You're going to wonder, uh, where's those radios? Uh, I don't see any radios. <laughs> Welcome up here to where it says ham radio info and click the classified ads and you'll be on back on the right page. Another good site uh, for used equipment. I mean, they have equipment of all types, everything from antennas to amplifiers, uh, VHF, UHF radios, HF radios, just about anything you would want to buy used. Again, a pretty safe site. I have bought quite a bit off of QTH.com. Uh, what I do is I always try to contact the seller by phone and get a warm, fuzzy feeling, and then I send my money. I have never been scammed on either QRZ.com or QTH.com. Not yet, anyway. Uh, check out the seller. They do... Uh, kick people off of here, I've seen from time to time, uh, if they're, they get a bad report about that ad. Uh, but I would still check that person out before I sent money. QTH.com. Now, if uh, you'd rather buy from a retail outlet, let me give you a few of those that have an online presence. And the first one I want to give you is called Main Trading Company, MTC, Main Trading Company. You don't have to remember any of these sites. I'll put links at the bottom of the video. <clears throat> anyway, you can Google up Main Trading or MTC, and you'll come to Richard's site. 
He has a retail store in Paris, Texas, and a really nice store, and Richard's a real nice guy to deal with. Uh, he's got equipment of all types, from antennas to radios to power supplies, you know, just about anything you might want to buy, he's got. If you don't see what you want, uh, just pick up the phone and call him. Uh, you're going to get him or one of his family members as they work in the store, and they'll be glad to help you find whatever you're looking for. Again, that's Main Trading or MTC, Main Trading Company. And, of course, there's the big uh, ham radio outlet. They've got retail stores all over the USA. We're lucky to have one here in the Dallas Metroplex. But again, you can order online from these people. And uh, I kind of think of them as having a great radio selection. A great radio selection. Even if you're just looking around, I, I would encourage you to go to this site and you can peruse just about any piece of radio equipment that you want to look at and get some information on it. For instance, let's just look at this Yesu that happens to be right here. It's 3200. It's got a lot of uh, basically manufacturer information on the equipment, which can help you kind of figure out what you might want to buy. So. Uh, even if you're looking and uh, maybe you have no intention of buying from Ham Radio Outlet, although they're a good retailer, uh, I'd encourage you to go to their site and look around. They do have some really good prices on radios and equipment, so uh, <clears throat> you might decide to buy here. Uh, anyway, that's Ham Radio Outlet. Ham Radio Outlet. Next one, of course, is the DX Engineering site. Uh, they've got radios, antennas, coax, uh, various ham-related tools that you might use in ham shack, soldering stations, you know, all kinds of things. So, uh, <clears throat> great site. They do have a catalog, as does Ham Radio Outlet that you can uh, request a catalog on the website and they'll send it to you. Uh, very nice catalog. Uh, sometimes they don't post the prices in catalogs because they change and they don't want to have a catalog out there with an incorrect price in it. But anyway, you'll be able to get a catalog from them if you'd like and look through the catalog at your leisure. Anyway, another great site, uh, DX Engineering. Uh, just as point of fact, I bought my Ham 4 rotor from DX Engineering. It came very fast, uh, perfect shape when I got it, and no problems whatsoever. And the next page, if you're kind of an electronics type person interested in uh, building radios or something like that, uh, or repairing radios specifically, then I'm going to put you on to RF parts. Uh, I bought parts from this company for my Collins KWM2 station. Uh, it's pretty easy to look around. Uh, let's go down here for, let's go up here and just type in uh, Collins radio tubes, for example. And if we do that in a moment, it should come back. And here we go with the various tubes that are available for the Collins radio. So, you know, uh, they even have a tube kit here. If you're going to replace every tube in the radio, I've got a kit <clears throat> that basically uh, does that. Uh, so that's one spot for electronics aficionados 
The other one would be uh, surplus sales of Nebraska. I've already got it pulled up to the Collins parts page and uh, even though my radio is a 1963 model, you know, you can still find various parts for that radio uh, at, uh, over here at Surplus Sales of Nebraska. So with that said, uh, and again, they have tubes for, you know, everything from my uh, Ameritron 811 amp uh, all the way to this Collins KWM2. They have tubes and tube sets for those radios. Anyway, with that said, let me uh, kind of get you back on my smiling face over here. Wherever I am, there I am. And I hope that came out a little bit better uh, than the first one. And uh, you could maybe read the pages a little bit better. But anyway, lots of places online to buy radio equipment. And if you happen to be stuck in a small town and there's really nothing there and you got to make a uh, hour and a half drive to uh, or two hour drive to find anything you need in the way of radio, you can always go to these sites and probably uh, find the exact item or radio part that uh, you may need uh, for the hobby. So with that said, as usual, I wish you clear skies of 73, and remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. Everybody be good. See y'all later.